soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savages. But this is the year 1944. Much has happened since the Nazi triumphs of 1940-41. The United Nations have inflicted upon the Germans great defeat in open battle, man to man. Our air offensive has seriously reduced their strength in the air and their capacity to wage war on the ground. Our home front have given us an overwhelming superiority in weapons and munitions of war and placed at our disposal great reserves of trained fighting men. Five minutes! All right, this is what we train for! You're a pathfinder! Avoid the enemy march to DC and regroup with your unit! This is good pretty hairy once the real shooting starts. Use your hands! Remember your training and get your jobs done! The tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching together to victory. Go! 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 I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to the duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck. near the drop zone. I hope the other guys made it. I think I saw a village a mile or so from here on my way down. Maybe I can find a landmark or someone who knows where the hell I am. Come on in, slowly. Good, one more. Welcome to France, soldier. We can use all the guns we can get. Okay, son, you're with us now. It looks like we're here. No telling where the rest of the boys ended up. If their drops went as badly as ours did, we got men scattered all over France. Okay, let's get these men organized and start hitting the Germans. You. Sir? Are you anywhere near your drop zone? Seen anybody from your unit? No, sir. All right. I've got a couple of guys who say one of their officers was hit as he left the plane. Don't know how bad. They saw his shoot open, but he didn't make it to the rally point. They're taking care of a bridge, so I'm sending you to go out and find that man and bring him back here. Yes, sir. Okay. Do those boys from D Company still have... Over here. Can you make it, Lieutenant? Yeah, I'll make it. Lead the way.
Good to see you, John. You too, sir. Get that looked after. Aye, sir. Nice work, trooper. You and these two men over here are going to go into this village and see if it's as clear of Germans as the French say it is. We've also got reports that one of the glider pilots was captured and brought there for interrogation. You find him if you can, and get him out of there. We were wondering when they were gonna send someone up. You guys seen anybody from Dog Company? No? Haven't seen any signs of that captured pilot either. We were told to hold tight here and report any significant troop movements. You guys are going in, huh? Good luck. You run into any trouble, head out this way and we'll cover you. How many gliders? What was your intent target? How many men were in your glider? You can talk to us now or you can wait till we hand you over to the Gestapo. They're not so gentle, the choice is yours. a goner for sure. Well, most of the Germans pulled out of town hours ago. They had a few tanks with them, but those pulled out too. Let me see if I can get this radio up and maybe we can figure out what's going on. Find a bit more trouble for you guys to get into. Man, it was hairy coming in. Flak was everywhere. The C-47 cut us loose early. I just set her down in the first open field I could find. Sounds like another group of paratroopers is doing some fighting to the north of here. Maybe they're from your unit. My group's rally point was to the north anyway. Let's head that way and see if we can rejoin our units.
We sent some troops out an hour or so ago to blow up some German artillery. They've destroyed several cannons already, but have found another emplacement with three more guns. Now, these guns are capable of firing on the beaches. They must be knocked out. They need someone to bring up additional explosives and to help with the assault. The guns are heavily entrenched and well defended. See the demolition sergeant about some explosives, and you should probably pick up some additional medical supplies and ammunition. Once you've got the explosives, go join those men and take out those guns. They should be hunkered down near a riverbed just south of the objective. Thanks. I thought we'd be here all day. We brew up some coffee, but the crowds would probably smell it. Good. You brought more explosives. Once we secure the guns, you set the charges and we'll get the heck out of here. Oh, the crowds have started firing again. Let's get this over with. You take the lead, we'll follow. Oberst, Meldung von Batterie C. Sie werden angegriffen und überrannt. Es gibt Berichte über Angriffe im ganzen Gebiet, einschließlich der Landezonen an den Stränden. Wie sind die durch unsere Linien gekommen? Beruhigen Sie sich, Leutnant. Das sind nur Fallschirmjäger. Keine Männer der Hauptinvasionstruppe. Sie sind allein abgeschnitten. Ich bin zwar von Ihrem bisherigen Erfolg beeindruckt, aber bald werden sie völlig auf sich allein gestellt sein. Keine Sorge, die sind nur lästig. Bis heute Abend haben wir das Land und die Küste unter Kontrolle. Well done, son. Getting that artillery really took some pressure off the landing beaches. We managed to find some additional gear for you. See what you can do when you're actually equipped. That was good thinking, recovering those documents. Intelligence has translators working on them now. <laughs> Probably recipes for sauerkraut. The beaches are now open. We've gotten a second wave of troops in, and they should be landing heavy equipment soon. The Germans seem to be massing their forces, and will probably launch a counterattack. The situation's still pretty... Um, fragile. We can't let them get any armor or a large number of troops down in the landing areas. We gotta make sure that they... Sniper! God damn it! Everybody down! We have reports about sniper teams in the area, but nothing was confirmed. Guess we got our confirmation now. Bastards. Ah, it is good to see you. We have waited years for this day. The Germans are moving reinforcements into this area. The Bosch have taken control of a nearby village and are trying to take control also of these little farms to use them as outposts, you see? My men and I were letting them know they have stayed too long. It is no time for them to leave. We could very much use your help.
Ah, my friend. How is your war, huh? Here, the German pigs have a tank somewhere in this town. My men attempted to destroy it with explosives, but I'm afraid we have done little more than damage it. If they can repair it, we are all in trouble. Also, we have um, a small problem. The local German commander, Herr Schneider, has set up his command post in L'Ecole, the schoolhouse. He is keeping some of the town leaders there for their safety. I have little faith in his safety measures. My men will not risk an attack while innocents are in there, and Herr Schneider knows it. Can you help? Sobald der Panzer repariert ist, bringen wir ihn zu dieser Straße, schlagen uns zur Küste durch. Wir werden die Fallschirmjäger ausschalten und die Amerikaner zurück in den Kanal treiben. Warum geben diese Idioten im Hauptquartier nicht mehr Material aus? Politische Soldaten und Stabsoffiziere. General Meyer hat recht. Gegen eine richtige Streitmacht aus Panzern hätten die Invasoren keine Chance. Wir könnten in wenigen Stunden Panzer am Strand haben. Die Invasion würde zusammenbrechen. Erfüllen Sie Ihre Pflicht, meine Herren. Ich erfülle meine. Cowards. Hiding behind civilians. The Panzer you seek. You must stop it quickly. I have heard the commander. He plans to attack as soon as it is repaired. It is near a roadblock, just to the east of here. Monsieur, thank you. Bonne chance. Fallschirmjäger, Fallschirmjäger, Berichte von Fallschirmjägern, die überall landen und was krieg ich? Verstärkung? Nee. Angriffsbefehle? Nee. Ich krieg ein schlafendes Oberkommando und Befehl, um jeden Preis zu halten. Was denn halten? Wo denn halten? Ja!
D-Day landings have opened a doorway to occupied Europe. Allied armies have rolled through France and Belgium, liberating Paris, Brussels, and are advancing along a broad front. The Japanese defenders of Saipan have surrendered, and U.S. forces in the Pacific now turn their attention to Guam. Victory seems close at hand. Tomorrow, 30,000 British and American airborne troops will be flown behind enemy lines to capture eight bridges which cross the network of canals and rivers along the Dutch-German border. If this mission is successful, we will open a new route into the heart of Germany, secure the deepwater port at Antwerp, which will help supply problems, and eliminate the V-2 launch sites in Holland. German opposition is expected to be minimal. Intelligence tells us the troops in the area are rear area divisions made up of children and old men. New German armor is expected to be in the area. Success in this mission could get us home by Christmas. There are a couple of AA guns camouflaged on that tree line. We've been lucky so far. Surprise has kept the battery quiet, but they'll tear the gliders and the second lift apart if they go into action. You men get over there and take out those guns. You guys, scout us a quick route to the first bridge. Get it done pronto! The gliders will be coming in soon! Mines! It's mined! Heads up! Okay, we're here to capture the two bridges, clear? Intelligence says the smaller bridge is lightly defended. The Germans are preparing it for demolition. Seems they don't want us using the bridges, if you can imagine that. If we don't capture this one intact, we'll have to do things the hard way and attack the larger, more heavily defended span bridge. Let's do this the easy way, huh? Well, the easy way didn't work out, did it? Maybe we'll all get a chance to cry about that sometime. Right now, we need to capture this bridge intact to keep 30 Corps moving. Do you read me? Unfortunately, we don't have the time or luxury to wait for an engineer to turn up. That means each man will be responsible for disabling any charges you find as we take the bridge. The Corporal here will tell you what to do, so listen up. Corporal. Right, the crowd seem to like setting these charges in a very particular way. Lucky for us. When you find one, you'll need to disarm it right away, and this will do the trick. Listen, we lose this bridge, and it's a long walk back for the lads at Arnhem. 
They're all yours, Lieutenant. Okay, way to go. We've taken the bridge. But this town is still crawling with Germans. And if a tank gets knocked out in these streets, it'll take us all day to get the wreck out of the way. It could slow down the entire advance. Any sizable force would get cut to pieces in these streets. There are snipers everywhere, so keep an eye out. I need you men to clear this area. The Dutch resistance tells us that the Krauts have set up four main points of defense. And here's the fun part. These buildings are connected by some sort of sewer system or tunnels or something, so they can rush reinforcements from place to place without us ever seeing them. Cute, huh? Clear out those buildings!
talk about up a creek without a paddle. Da, sie kommen mit Booten. They what? Well, sir, they seem to be stopping for tea. Tea? Yes, sir. Tea, sir. You mean to tell me that we've just taken the last bridge between here and Arnhem and they're not moving out? Well, sir, they say they need time to reorganize before moving again. The attack and diversion has them all disorganized. Fuel trucks and supplies need to be brought up. Eleven miles. Sir? Nothing. Get me a squad of men. If 30 Corps won't advance, the Airborne still can. See ya. Thanks for your help. Damn Jerry has overrun the drop zones. We're low on everything. 
and the sodding air corps are dropping ammo to the Germans. Come on then, I'll show you the rest of the way. My God, it's good to see you. We weren't sure you'd make it through. Many thanks. The codes are more welcome than you know. The Germans have us surrounded and have been making the most of it. Bit of a cock-up, hmm? So if you can join us, we'd appreciate it. We need the help. Thank you, Smalling. As you can see, things are getting a little difficult around here. We sent this message out this morning. From Phantom One Airborne Division. Urquhart to Browning. Must warn you, unless physical contact is made with us early September the 25th, consider it unlikely we can hold out long enough. All ranks now exhausted. Lack rations, water, ammunition and weapons with high officer casualty rate. Even slight enemy offensive action may cause complete disintegration. If this happens, all will be ordered to break towards bridgehead. Anything rather than surrender. Any movement at present in face of enemy, impossible have attempted our best and will do so as long as possible. Oh, and another bit of cheer. We've also had word from the Dutch underground that the Germans now have 60 additional Tiger tanks in the area. Well, now that you can appreciate the situation we have here, why don't you chaps see if you can find Major Kane? He's been having a bit of luck hunting German tanks and could undoubtedly use some help. You can find him in one of the houses up the road. Keep your heads down, lads. It's about time for the morning hate. A listening post has reported that the Germans are probing our defences in the town. We need to turn them back before they realise how thin things really are. Two teams, one up this street, one up the next. Now go!
Gebiet überprüfen!
lines have almost been completely overrun. The good news is that most of our surviving men have already reached the exfiltration area. We're continuing to transmit false radio traffic from this position in hope that it'll slow down the Germans. You men need to protect this position and keep the radio link open until the last of our withdrawal is complete. Good luck. Kommt raus, kommt raus, wo immer ihr seid! Withdrawal is complete. Let's get out of here. Everyone, rally on my position. Allied advances continue on all fronts. The Russian Red Army is steadily closing in on the Eastern Front, while German cities continue to be devastated by intense bombing. The Italian Peninsula has been captured and liberated, and the Allied Army continues to advance rapidly through France and the Low Countries. In the Pacific, American forces have captured the airstrip at Peleu, and Supreme Allied Commander General Douglas MacArthur has returned to the Philippines and has begun his campaign to liberate it from Japanese control. Germans are attacking 7th Corps. When did that become the Airborne's problem? Any news on where we're headed yet? We're headed for a place called Baston. No one has a clear picture of what's going on yet. You'll get your assignments when we arrive, but be ready for anything. I've got reports of German infantry and armor all over the place. Sounds like they've broken through the lines in several places. 
Tell the men to get all the rest they can. We might not get another chance for a while. Good to have you men here. As you can see, German hospitality is overrated. Jerry is all over the place. We've been attacked from nearly every direction except down below. Wouldn't surprise me if they had units coming up from hell itself. <sighs> well, no matter. We'll send a runner out to guide the rest of the convoy in. Get over to the north end of town and lend a hand with the defenses there. HQ has decided we're too exposed out here, too far from the lines. We're pulling out immediately. The engineers have made up demolition charges. Three for the ammo dump, two for the CP. The town is being overrun. These men will cover you while you place the charges. Whatever you do, don't let anything fall into enemy hands. Understood? We've got to take out that 88. If we get stuck here, the convoy will get cut to pieces. Heck, we're pulled back about as far as we can. Shorter lines will give us stronger defenses, but we're still stretched pretty thin. HQ are saying the Huns got us completely surrounded. We're sending out patrols day and night looking for enemy troop concentrations and movement.
damn Germans. How can anyone expect to win a fight in this weather? I don't think I've ever been this cold. No chance of a supply airdrop in this crap. It's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, bud. You're relieved. Go get some chow and warm up. Christmas was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, Santa is a bit slow out here. Did you hear about Malmody? Yeah, stinking krauts aren't taking me prisoner. After the heroic defense by the airborne forces at Baston and the arrival of Patton's armored divisions, the German army has been pushed out of the Ardennes. Russian forces continue their advances, capturing Warsaw and continuing to head west. American forces have taken Cologne, captured the legendary Remagen Bridge, and are across the Rhine. The whole world mourns the passage of President Roosevelt and wishes the best to President Truman and the trials ahead. The island hopping campaign in the Pacific continues as U.S. Marines land on Iwo Jima. You're going home. Sir? That's right. HQ feels the real fighting is pretty much over here in Europe. We need to begin training for Japan. They're setting up a new training detachment at Benning. We need someone with combat experience to help coordinate things with the guys who've got jungle experience. You should be in the States within two weeks. Any objections? No, sir. Very well. Good luck, son. Yes? I'm sorry, sir. They said it was urgent. Right. Send them in. Wait outside, please. What's so urgent? It seems the army in Europe is not quite done with you after all. You're being temporarily attached to the OSS Special Operations Group. Gentlemen? Everything you're about to hear is classified. Yes, it classified. In 1939, a noted physicist, Albert Einstein, sent a letter to the White House warning of the possible development of a new type of bomb of immense power. An atomic bomb. Since that time, we've been closely monitoring German research in this area. Although there is little evidence to support the fact that the Germans may actually have built such a weapon, they have undoubtedly made great strides with the research, especially with heavy water, a key component in the making of such a device. The German atomic research program has been moved to a central location in Germany and placed under the protection of an SS division. Our operatives have located and penetrated the site. This program, any heavy water supplies, and the scientists running it cannot fall into Russian hands. Ike has decided to let the Russians have Berlin. This decision will undoubtedly save many American lives, but it's also created some complications. We just can't send an army into the Russian zone and take what we want. 
We need to drop someone into the production facility, someone with combat experience, demolition skills, and the ability to finish the job. That's where you come in. You leave immediately. You'll make contact with our man on the ground in Germany. He'll brief you further when you arrive. That takes care of the shoot. I always imagined I'd end up in Germany, but not without the rest of the division. Okay, find the one German officer in all of Germany with a signal lamp, and not get myself shot in the process. Oh well, secret agents, silenced weapons, what's next? Good to see you made it safely. I was beginning to worry. I'll brief you here, we'll get your equipment, and then we'll be on our way. We don't have much time. I've been working as a guard at the production facility since it opened. After the attack in Norway, Berlin moved the entire atomic program here. It's housed nearby, beneath a destroyed factory. They've put an SS division in charge of security. A General Mayer is in charge. If you fought in Holland or Bastogne, you may be familiar with him. The scientists feel they are very near a breakthrough, but nobody feels it will come in time to make a difference. Mayer is a party fanatic and proud. He'll fight to the last man, but many of the scientists are concerned for their families and their future. They're not too enthusiastic about dying for the Fuhrer during the General's last stand. Rumors from Russian-occupied areas are grim. So they're afraid of the general, the Russians, each other. There's now a group of the scientists who are meeting regularly to try to find a safe solution. London and Washington have contacted them, but they're not sure who to trust. Your job is to get them settled down, show them escape routes, and keep them out of Russian hands. The general security is pretty tight. We believe he's got a man on the inside. You'll have to be careful and be prepared for anything. They're meeting tonight. We'll get started immediately. the scientists are brought to this chateau to rest. They come here about twice a month. They arrived just this morning. Not much of a holiday, actually. The eggheads get locked away upstairs while the general and his pals enjoy themselves. So all you've got to do is locate them and deliver our message. Simple, right? Security is pretty soft here. That's why we chose this place instead of the production facility. Nobody expects a commando raid on the chateau. Okay, there isn't much time. I'll go in first and unlock one of the side doors. You make your way onto the grounds and find the door. Don't spend too much time in one spot. Move around. The guards will probably just assume you've had too much to drink and are lost wandering the grounds. Don't let them stop you, though. If you're found outside the chateau without the proper papers, you'll be arrested on the spot. Good luck. Get me to that 
Karl? Karl Ost? Wir sind auf Kreta zusammen abgesprungen. Operation Merkur, 1941. Sie erinnern sich doch. Zweites Bataillon. Major Stenzler. Sie verdammten Briten haben hart gekämpft, was? Aber wir haben härter gekämpft, oder? Das war ja nach Zeiten. Nicht so wie heute. Sie erinnern sich nicht an mich? Wir haben in der ersten Stunde ein Krankenhaus und zwei Colonels kassiert. Dafür wurden wir belobigt, Karl. Ach, Heidi, meine Süße, du kennst mich aber noch.
Gentlemen, I'm here on behalf of the governments of Great Britain and the United States of America. They're very interested in your work and would like to see you live to complete it. And they've sent me here to see that you do just that. I'm authorized to offer safe passage to you and your families in exchange for your cooperation, including accurate information and your continued work on this program. I think it's a very generous offer. As I'm sure a bunch of bright individuals like yourself have already figured out, you don't have a lot of options. Your facility lies right in the Russian zone. The only army coming for you is Joe Stalin's coming from the east. Now, you could turn to the Germans for protection, but the end is inevitable. I don't think you'd be too happy. They'd kill you just to keep your work secret. They might even try to force you to fight against the Russians, and none of you look like very good soldiers to me. These are documents detailing escape routes and contacts. There's going to be a diversionary attack soon. When that attack happens, whoever wants to accept my offer and leave better get out immediately. It won't take the SS long to figure out it's a diversion and to shut the place up tight. It's up to you. I think you'll like America a lot more than you'll like Russia. Good luck. This rail yard is the site of the diversionary attack. You'll plant a series of timed explosives and then make your way to the ruined factory. The explosives you're using may seem a bit unorthodox. Trust me, they'll get the job done. The OSS has a great deal of practical experience with sabotage. Now this is a thing of beauty. Rats, you see? You find rats wherever you find people, right? A dead rat? Even one stuffed with explosives doesn't seem out of place, and so is unlikely to be noticed, much less investigated or touched by most guards. Das ist er. Schnappt ihn! I ask again, what were you doing in the rail yard? What were you looking for? Your silence will only bring you more pain. Why do you resist? You will tell us before you die. Tell us now and I promise you end will be a swift one. Look at your comrade. He has already broken. It's useless to play the hero, huh?
Vigilante complete. I say again, Vigilante is a success. Packages are on the way west. All unrecoverable packages destroyed. London acknowledges Vigilante complete. Well done. Radio intercepts lead us to believe General Mayer in possession of Vigilante target secrets. Has offered docks to Reds for free passage to South America. Target Mayor at your location. Locate and terminate. Prevent transfer of vigilante secrets to Russians at all costs. End transmission.
war in Europe is finally over and the free world celebrate. Just 13 days after the historic meeting of American and Soviet forces at the Elba River, at 2.41 a.m. on May 7th, General Yodel signed documents for the unconditional surrender of German forces on all fronts, which will take effect on May 8th at 11.01 p.m. Next stop, Tokyo.